Ladies and gentlemen, your referee for our next bout from Slovakia, Igor Schmidt. <laughs> Please welcome to the Blue Corner from Slovakia, Donat Ornek. So, fight number two is about to get underway. Donat Hummer Ornek from Slovakia. He was a last minute replacement to this fight. He's 20 years old, 1.82 centimeters, 21 fights, 11 wins, 10 losses. Uh, he's winning against Marcus, the Terminator Aaron Hoffer now. Marcus was the winner of the W5 Summer Boot Camp Challenge and during the Summer Boot Camp, which, was take, which took place in Novi Sad, Serbia. They were sparring every night, and the person that sparred the best got a guaranteed contract to appear in a W5 fight, and that is Marcus Aaron Hoffer. But Marcus has had a rough road to get to this fight tonight. He was originally supposed to uh, face Carl and Dua, who uh, had to back out at the last minute. Then we had Senk, a Hungarian fighter named Senk, who backed out literally Friday or Thursday, Thursday night, and we were able to get Donat Hornick to come in and replace at the last minute. So a lot of respect for Donut for coming into this fight on a very last minute note. It's very professional. Uh, this guy is eager and he is ready and wants to get in the ring and fight Marcus and show his stuff to the world of W5. And his opponent from Austria, Marcus Ehrenhofer. So Marcus, the Terminator Ehrenhofer is a 22 year old, 180 centimeter uh, fighter, he's 23 fights, 19 wins, 6 by KO, and 4 losses. So Donat, even though he's lost 10 in his 11 wins, he's never knocked out anybody. It may not happen again tonight. He's conditioned very well. Marcus Ehrenhofer clearly has some knockout power, but again, a fighter that has traditionally gone the good distance. And we'll see how it plays out here. And Marcus actually won. There were 62 people that showed up to the W5 summer camp. Uh, we had Mike Van Anderson from Van Anderson Sport out of the Netherlands. We had Misha uh, Bachelor from uh, Serbia, from Ronin Carnage Gym. We had Nathan Carnage Corbett, uh, Vladimir Adriani. Uh, all came to the summer camp to help train these fighters and work with them. Andre Chadden from Chadden School, who was Vlad Tuno's uh, coach, was also there. And as well, president of W5, Sergey Chipanoga. They were all working with these fighters. 62 fighters showed up, and he was the one who won the contract. So let's see how he performs on the big stage. The following bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the W5 Super Middleweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 182 centimeters and weighed in at 77 kilograms. His record, 11 victories opposite 10 defeats. Fighting out of Slovakia, Donad Hummer Hornet. and fights out of the red corner. He stands 180 centimeters and weighed in at 77 kilograms. His record, 19 victories, out of in four defeats with six wins via knockout. Fighting out of Austria, Marcus Terminator, Aaron Hofer. This is a three round, three minute per round. There was a possibility for an extra round. It's at the discretion of the supervisor based on the results of the scores of the first three rounds. Our judges, our side judges are Denis Sedenko from Russia, Georgi Vajvoda from Hungary, and Igor Schmidt from Slovakia. And our referee is Miladin Krancic. Uh, is Miladin Krancic from Croatia to be the referee. And of course, Slav Branko, our supervisor for tonight's events. So I'm really excited about this one because you know, Marcus, we've been really ta talking him up and he's done really well at the summer camp and now we finally get to see him perform at a professional W5 fight. And we'll see if he's up to the task. We also have two big title fights. Andre Kedvish will be going after his first W5 title in the welterweight division. He's 6-0 in W5 fights, only one loss in his professional career and that's going to come up a little bit later. And he, uh, and again we have Andre Hutnik going up against Moran Fabian for the light heavyweight title.
though tonight. Good mid kick by Aaron Hoffer, and you see that Donut stumbled on that. Nice high kick by Aaron Hoffer. Donut with his gloves a little bit down, defense open. I think he's going to bring those gloves up. Good little quick left hook by Aaron Hoffer. Donut trying to use that straight leg kick to push Aaron Hoffer, keep him back. Right now, this fight is being fought at a distance. Both fighters around the same height, not a big height advantage. Too quick, good lefts by Donut. Comes in with that Superman knee. And a good left on the chin by Aaron Hoffer. So Marcus uh, opening up quite strong. Nice high kick by Donut. Another high kick by Donut, blocked nicely by Marcus. A nice knee by Marcus Aaron Hoffer. So he's looking pretty good so far. And both fighters right now not trying to get inside. Really kind of fighting from a distance. I think uh, Aaron Hoffer landing more of his strikes. And he definitely landed a couple big ones very early on, but Donut not shying away. Good left by Donut, but he just ate a counter left by Aaron Hoffer. Good high kick by Donut again. Good right by Aaron Hoffer. And actually, if you look, they're both mixing up their, their leg and uh, hand strikes quite well so far. Marcus a little bit more than Donat. We'll see if that last, good left jab by Marcus. We'll see if that lasts into the later rounds, if this even goes into the second or third round. As when you get here in the Eastern European uh, area, a lot of these fighters by the second and third round start turning a lot more to the boxing than to using their legs. And so I would expect Donut might be reverting to his boxing skills a little bit more, whereas Marcus might continue with the uh, nice mix of punches and kicks. Good left by Marcus. And there comes Marcus inside, lands right to the body. And Donat immediately clinching up. And there is the first round. A pretty evenly matched first round. I think a slight advantage to Marcus Aaron Offer there. I gotta give him that round by a 10-9 decision. Donut definitely was able to stand his own ground. He ate a couple big shots, didn't really phase him. We'll see right now what changes they make here in round number two. And it'll be really interesting for me if uh, if Donut goes with the boxing skills or continues to keep using those legs. This is what we're going to be waiting for here in the second round. There's that right on the replay by Marcus. Donut landing two little small lefts, nothing behind him. I love the guy's name, man, Donut. Here we go, round number two about to start. This is a three round fight. There's a possibility for an extra round. Nice mid kick by Donut and two quick left jabs. Good left, two left jab again combination. Just come with that right to end it. So fighters uh, clinch and exchange knees. By W5 rules, if you grab a leg, you're allowed one punch. If you clinch, you are allowed one knee. You do have to break. There's no twisting or throwing. Donut just ate a big left by Marcus. Took another left jab. No twisting or throwing. No hitting the back of the head or the spine. No elbows. Pretty much other than that. It's anything goes. 
So right now the fighter is dancing around a little bit, throwing a couple punches. Marcus looking like he's trying to find a way inside. And he does get inside and lands a quick little left. And Donut smartly clinching. So Donut trying to keep this fight at a distance. Marcus looking like he's trying to get inside and fight at close range. Donut at this stage right now in the second. Big overhand right! And that one put Donut on the ground. Glove was down and he took a big overhand right. And you can see Marcus was trying to get inside and land something big. He did get inside, he got that step in and threw that overhand right and that was it. And now Marcus smells the blood. Good switching, jumping right kick. Donut now fighting for his life, clinches, Marcus gets inside. Another left by Marcus. Donut trying to push the fight to Marcus, but that's a mistake. Good combination by Marcus. Donut right now just eating those shots. Nice straight leg kick to the face by Donut though. Right now Marcus has all the confidence and energy. Donut has to land something big or keep his distance. Donut still definitely phased by that. Another big left by Marcus, another right by Marcus. If I'm Hornick, I'm gonna keep my distance back up, try and get my bearings. He doesn't look so wobbly on the feet, but he doesn't look so balanced either. Nice left by Marcus, but Donut now uh, still taking those punches and still standing. A beautiful overhand right by Marcus there in round number two. 20 seconds left. Another left right by Marcus. You can see how wobbly he is dazed just by his reaction to those shots. Marcus needs to land one more big one and it could be lights out for Hornick. Neither right by Aaron Hoffer. If I'm Marcus, oh, and a spinning heel kick right at the bell. If I'm Marcus, man, you gotta go after him more aggressively and get him down and end this fight. The longer you dance with him, the more chance you allow him to get his bearings and that's just not so good. It only takes one punch to put you on your back. So that round definitely going to Marcus Ehrenhoff for the Terminator. Because he will take a 10-8 point spread on that one, maybe even 10-7. Uh, I didn't think he was so dominant until he, he got that knockdown. Let's we'll see if we can get that replay for you right now. There's that big overhand right. And there it is. You can see Donai, his left arm was stretched out. He was fully exposed. And what a beautiful placement by Marcus. So I got Marcus comfortably winning this fight right now here by points if it were to go to three rounds. Uh, Donai needs to knock down. I mean, that will help at this stage. I got Marcus up two rounds to nothing and really by four points. And here you can see our scorecard. It's by six points. Good right by Marcus as Donut tried to get inside. Hornick needs something big here. Hornick trying to go with that high kick. He catches himself with his back, turned to his opponent. These fighters tonight are using W5 gloves. They are W5's own design. Good body shot. And then comes straight to the head by Aaron Hoffer. So Donut with the straight leg kick pushes Marcus back in the ropes, tries to come in with the knee, but right when he makes that move, Marcus throws that leg out and keeps him at bay. So Marcus doing a good job of uh, now predicting Donut's moves and what he wants to do and protecting himself. Good left by Donut. Good right by Donut. So Donut looking good. He looks like he got his bearings back. Good left on the chin by Marcus. Warnick needs something big, man. You got to pull something out of the hat if you want to win this. Good body shot by Marcus and straight to the head. Marcus is throwing a lot of combinations. He's landing his shots. 
Good left by Marcus. Good overhand right again. You know, Marcus looking like a strong fighter in here. Uh, a little sloppy at times, misses a shot, throws a little wild, but when he's landed, he's, he's had some good power behind it. Good left jab. He's got some good pop behind his punches. So 40 seconds left here in round number three. The way this fight's going, it looks like it will go to the end and to a decision. Another left by Marcus. Good left, right by Marcus. The right landing and the left pretty much blocked by Hornick. So it looks like this fight will go to a decision. Oh! Again, Marcus landing a nice left right on the chin by Donut. Donut not phased with that one. He was wide open and exposed. Hornick will live to see another day. Another left by Marcus getting through the defense of Hornick. So Marcus doing a great job here in this fight. If I'm him, don't get over aggressive. There's only 10 seconds left. You got this fight. It's yours. And you can see now he's just dancing around and that is it. It's gonna go to points, but it's clearly gonna be a unanimous decision for Marcus, the Terminator, Aaron Hoffer. I would be, uh, Let's say completely amazed if any of the judges scored that one for Hornick. Right now we just wait for the scorecard. And as we wait, we have one more fight here in the uh, preliminary rounds and then we'll get into our main card. We got four fights in the main card tonight, seven fights. All told. A decision, please welcome to the W5 ring, partner Milan Chocolat, sales manager of Sinak W Slovakia. <laughs> so Mike Markham about to give us the decision of this fight. Decision from the red corner, Marcus Terminator, Aaron Hofer. So Marcus wasn't much of a Terminator. He didn't uh, didn't kill Donut, but he definitely controlled this fight. And you could see he was dominant for at least the second and third round. In the first round, the judges gave it more or less a tie, like I uh, like we thought. Even though if there was a slight advantage, I might have given the slight advantage to Marcus in round number one. A good fight for both of them. Donut came back, was able to last all three rounds after getting that brutal overhand right knocked down in round number two. So congratulations to him. And a lot of respect. I, I can't say it enough how much respect we have for Donut uh, Hornick and his team. Because uh, Rudolf Dordich, who was a W5 Intercontinental champ and the coach for uh, Donut, these guys really came through at the last minute and took this fight up. And we just want to say thank you to them. A lot of respect. It's not always so easy to find a fighter in two days. So congratulations to Rudolf Dorich and um, Dorcha and to Donut Warnick. Wish you guys all the best in the future. We'll be back in just a second with fight number three.